Welcome back, Deadites and Ghost Beaters. And if you're new to the channel, I am Old Head Gaming. And of course, if you're here, you're obviously excited for the upcoming 7 vs. 3 horror ASM killer clowns from outer space based on the 80s sci fi horror schlock awesomeness that is Killer Clowns. And I was already hard at work on a video for Killer Clowns focusing on everything we saw during Human Week when they dropped this out of nowhere, more Killer Clown stuff. So let's take a look at this trailer for Killer Clowns All the Classes. break down everything that came from today's blog post and we'll backtrack and include the stuff from last week's human week and kind of do an all-encompassing look at everything we've learned from killer clowns over the last like seven days now as you can see this video shows pretty much all the classes and which clown is associated with it and we're gonna hop over to the blog post and I'll break down everything that's in there so in case there was stuff that was kind of left out by just seeing them actually in motion but I'm very excited for this because the fact that they're starting to do this media blitz we had human week last week we have clowns week going on now and it's clear that they are starting to ramp up and they're of course pushing signing up for the beta as well as wishlisting on steam so i think their early 2023 estimate still seems very viable and i think we might be seeing this beta coming quicker than enough but let's take a look at this blog post so this is the blog update that just hit actually right about mm, an hour ago and we're gonna break it down today i'll talk about the rock stars or killer clowns specifically each of the five playable classes which you can pick from forming a three-player team to hunt down citizens of Crescent Cove. They take a look at these glorious bastards in a new video or extremely talented art team put together. Now, this is made in Magic of Unreal Engine, which is looking really good. We just saw what that actually looks like of all those characters actually in motion. And so let's take a look at this. Tracker, parentheses, Spiky. Now they're gonna include all their names in case you aren't familiar with the Killer Clowns. Tracker especially is, well, tracking. The class based on Spikey from the film is not the best at combat. He thrives when looking for tasty humans who are running around the map, looting, tooting, sometimes even shooting with the clown team. The tracker provides situational insight to support his teammates by several things. He can shoot humans with a popcorn bazooka, popcorn bit stick on the humans and reveals their position on the map to other clowns or summon the balloon dog that will point towards the nearest survivor if the prey tries to get away the tracker will hop in his shiny and of course insured invisible car and cha or chase them on foot being able to vault over obstacles kind of cool we saw spiky in the trailer next up was trapster rudy Rudy will scare the living crap out of Earthlings, making sure they always feel at least a little bit nervous while scouting for valuables or trying to escape from town. He can't fight that well, but he makes up for his weakness by actively scheming, placing traps. Trapster's Jawbreaker Mace is bursting the popcorn explosion on contact, allowing other clouds to see attack humans through nearby walls. That's a really cool feature. He can sense human traps, even has an arsenal of zones. The first is Baby Clown, an ugly larva looking buddy who springs up and latches to the victim, holding them down. Come get your sweet, nutritious human. The other trap is Popcorn Mine. See for those meat bags to your heart's content, making those within the blast radius with the same wall hack vision debuff as Mace. What is going on? That's pretty awesome. The tank is chubby. In fact, he is actually chubby from the movie. The absolute unit of clown is slow. He's also tough as hell. If he catches your probably mashed potatoes, his expandable jawbreaker is the tank's only ranged weapon. Whip this alien flail around or cha charge it up for more reach and power, causing destruction to anyone who dares try to catch it with their face. <laughs> <laughs> His signature ability is Sticky Bash and Rage Rush with a powerful downward strike. The clown summons a carpet of cotton candy that traps anyone caught within it or goes on a rampage mode charging into his enemies while bursting through obstacles and taking less damage from firearms. Remember his cocoon straw scene for the movie? If you know, you know. 
Chubby sticks a straw into the cotton candy, slurps energy from human intestines, gained a limited time movement buff. Yummy. So he could actually drink humans while fighting them. That's fantastic. Our scout is Jumbo. I always like Jumbo. Please say hi to Jumbo. He's the only alien veteran that can use clown jump to leap into unexplored territory for which other clowns is covered with fog over the map. Pretty handy, right? I did not realize that this is really cool. So basically the map's gonna be clouded. Like if you've ever played like any kind of exploration game or, or Warcraft, not world, but like original Warcraft where there's this cloud until you march your ass in. This is really awesome. Okay, so you can just go into areas in stealth mode. Cool. He lacks range and pure damage, but can strategically take humans out and control the flow of the whole battle if you're skilled enough. Slightly draw the humans closer with hypnotic lore and smash them with a mallet, channel your inner shinobi with a lackey swap, and instantly substitute yourself with a nearby AI-controlled minion to quickly change your position while evading and attacking survivors. Ninja Cloud Escape? What? I think Scout right now is... Mm, it's gonna be hard. He might be my guy if it weren't for Shorty being in the game. Let's get ready to rumble! Because Shorty is not messing around. Want to knock your block off, then come close and kiss his boxing gloves. Shorty does not give a damn. He just wants to fight someone. He's trained his whole life, invade a small town in the United States. And on April 1st, 1988, his dreams came true. His melee prowess and agility made him a formidable yet loud opponent. And he cannot detect humans. He is here to fight. Prop hunt carnosaurs will enjoy playing as shorty because of his ability to disguise himself as a pizza box you won't believe it but the ability is called pizza box did the pizza box just move anyway shorty will make you feel like prey haha <laughs> he sometimes refer reference to another game where you turn into objects but there's more fight has speedy tricycle which unlike tra trackers invisible car can be used indoors pedal your way to victory hit the brakes jump off the bicycle and crash into your enemies Oh man, Shorty looks like it's gonna be a lot of fun. So there was a the first detailed look into Clown's gameplay mechanics, ability to follow us on social media to learn where to go. Uh, of course, add it to the Steam wish list. Now, as I said, I was going to work on a video for Human Week, and Human Week really shows a lot of what the classes look like and what they're capable of as well. As you may know, we shared a lot about different human classes. Biker, cop, redneck, teenager, punk, every class has 10 variable attributes that make each one special. And you can read up more on, the, on this link here. Of course, you have an option to design your character to match yourself or your greatest enemy, we won't judge. We can change your skin tone, determine body type, select your favorite phase, design, dive through the existing virtual closest to pick classes based on clothes, style your hair according to the option presented, even choose your animation. Let your individualism fly. Sorry to say there's no leopard print at this moment. Well, that's just bullshit. Humans walk around, crouch, crawl through the world as a quest to survive the clown invasion. So maybe think twice about the miniskirt, the cowboy boot combo, unless it's all that and you know, a bag of chips for those of you who actually remember that statement. And here's a quick look at some of the survivors. Like, there's, this is 80s throwback for those of you who weren't, you know, alive in the 80s. Probably most of you watching this video. The appearance of humans was carefully researched to be catch-all of different types of people who we see in movie and even drew some of our favorites from the late 80s horror flick for additional ideas to mix things up. Knowing that we'd have a nice avatar customization system, we cast a wider net in our research to ensure that we have a variety of players' desires. Our create leads randy greenback and ld are big centerfires especially when it comes to horror they tap back into many of the classics like poltergeist friday 13th monster squad return of the living dead evil dead and even look to iconic characters like elvira and timely thrillers like heathers to pinpoint the exact hairstyles clothing swagger that made the 80s so immediately recognizable As you know, there are several ways to win a match as a human. Whether or not your chosen style is inspired by the pages of the latest Tiger Beat or going to conform... <coughs> or going to the comfort of your latest basement tabletop games. So fashion aside, what's your game plan? The first full-on battle, take flight to the clowns. Shoot their red glowing noses. Remove them from the game for a moment. Sneak into the spaceship. Take out their power cores with a more permanent solution. This will require coordination as those clowns only get more powerful through the match. This is why it's so important to choose and re-choose when you die. Your human class as carefully as they have different abilities and proficiencies. And now we see some more of... There's Windbreakers. God damn it. No one wants the Windbreakers back! Second is for those who just want to make sure the tribe makes it out of the invasion, go ahead and lock yourself in your room, loot a nice burger, and enjoy the mayhem on the streets for a minute before this, you strategize the best way to stay out of the way and save any NPCs or teammates who just want to make sure the citizens remain alive. 
And here's some more pictures of possibilities. The third is for those who just want to run, 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 run away and say, I'm out. Time for look for a place perpetually in the dark and that has more moles. If you find the right means to leave, you can flee the town and leave one less player for the clowns to mark off their kill list. More on this later to prepare to re reveal gameplay details. Incidentally, if you enjoyed Microwave Week, you might have also noticed the microwaves are open. Hmm. We have teased you with the possibility of mischief making micro aggressor sneaking into a house. The reality is that humans, you're the sneakers, and we don't mean those fresh Chuck Taylors on your feet. Many, and we mean many, items can be open, searched in the game. Micro is just one of them, so who knows what you might fight randomly in places. Make sure that you don't turn them on in case it's a wrench. Fireworks don't belong outside of the big top. Don't you know microwaving metal can do premium piece of 80s kitchen technology? No, micro eyes were harmed in making of this joke. And they mean it. Like, every week where they're peeling back more and more layers, the media it just keeps on coming um this has all come out basically in the last six days and we have a lot of information they just keep dropping and i think it's safe to say we're probably getting closer and closer to the beta announcement a gameplay reveal we have a lot of stuff coming they keep hinting at more and more stuff and every single thing i hear about killer clowns from outer space makes me that much more ready to play this game this game could be the best ASIM out there. Seven versus three is a very interesting system, but it also makes a lot of sense. Obviously, the clowns can be killed temporarily, and then they respawn. And humans can be killed permanently, but there's NPCs they can grab to keep playing the game. So there's different options that you can do that we know already, and there's a lot of cool stuff on the way. We saw how awesome both the clowns and humans look. We know now there's character customization for the humans. I can't get more excited for this game if I absolutely try to. What do you think of all this information we're just getting dumped on us from Killer Clowns? Are you ready for the beta? Are you ready for this game just to be out? I am so excited for what we're going to see and hopefully still early 2023. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. As always, thanks for watching and later, mates.